Hello everyone. I welcome you to this session. In this session, we will discuss the second part of the Unit 4 Accounting Process 1 of Financial Accounting of BCom first semester. In this session, we will discuss two important aspects. Number one, the system of bookkeeping and secondly, we will see the classification of accounts. Generally, when we record the business transactions in books of accounts, we follow a particular system. That system is known as double entry system of bookkeeping. So, we will discuss the double entry system of bookkeeping. This double entry system of bookkeeping is based on a particular accounting concept. That concept is known as dual aspect concept. According to this concept, each transaction will have two accounts means there will be two aspects of the same transactions. In the first part video, we have uh, shown the format of a particular account. Then we have discussed the term debit and credit. So in a particular account, there are two sides, debit and credit. So that particular format is based on the double entry system. The double entry system of bookkeeping is based on dual aspect concept. and each aspect of every transaction will be recorded in a particular account and the related account. So, two aspects will be recorded under the double entry system of bookkeeping whenever a particular transaction takes place in the business. And this debit and credit will be equal. So, let us again recapitulate the format that on a particular site we have recorded that particular JF amount that is the left side, debit side, DR and on the other side, we have written as CR credit side with the same column name, date, particulars, JF amount. So, whenever a transaction takes place on that particular day, we will record the date, the details of the transaction and we will give certain amount of that transaction and the journal folio is there. So, how to record the transactions in this particular format? But before discussing that, let us first discuss the features of this particular system, the double entry system of bookkeeping. In this particular system, transactions takes place only if there are two parties. So you can take an example that a transaction takes place between me and you. So one party will receive certain benefit and the other party will give some benefit. So I may receive something and on the opposite side you may give something. So that transaction will take place if there are two parties that is in this particular side I am here and you on the other side uh, we are transacting something. So each party is affected in opposite direction but with the same amount. Let us take the example that I have purchased uh, some goods for an amount of rupees 2000. So I have purchased this. I uh, bought these items and I paid rupees 2000 against that to you. So I got the items and you get the money. So the items will be worth rupees 2000. I have uh, these items are with me and I have paid rupees 2000, the equal amount to you. So you have rupees 2000 in your account or in your hand. So the same transaction affected both the parties related in the transaction. So the changes are recognized from the point of view of the party whose books of accounts are being recorded. So each transaction, I will record my aspect in my books of accounts and you will record your aspect, the impact of that particular transaction in your books of accounts from your point of view. So the same transaction, the same amount but the recording will be takes place in a different way. So I will record my aspect in my books of accounts you will record your aspect in your books of accounts. But the relation will be same means the amount will be same. So changes are recorded in the two related accounts in the books of the party in whose books recording is being done. So we have to first think on uh, in which books of accounts we will record that particular transaction. From my side, in our example, I will record in my books of accounts the purchase transaction because I have purchased it. So purchase 
and I have paid rupees two thousand to you. So I will record it in my cash book also that I have paid rupees two thousand. So this is my aspect. If you consider your aspect, then for you in your books of accounts you have to record it as a sale transaction because you have sold me the goods. So one uh, aspect will be sell in your books of accounts and the other aspect will be the cash that you have received 2000 means you have sold for rupees 2000 and you have received cash 2000 amount will be same in my book also in your book also two aspects in your case it is sell and cash in my case it is purchase and cash so the amount will be same but the two aspects are recorded so these are the features and the process of double entry system now let us see what are the advantages of this particular system this is the scientific system so if i wrongly recorded a particular aspect suppose in uh, my books of accounts i have recorded it like uh, purchase for rupees 3000 instead of rupees 2000 but when i have recorded it in uh, the cash book the cash aspect I have recorded it rightly 2000 so these two amounts will vary and it will show that there are some mistakes in the recording purpose so this system is very scientific and any uh, it uh, serves the purpose of correcting all the entries arithmetically so it records the whole transaction it's a complete record I have recorded two aspects purchase and cash you have recorded under double entry system in your books of accounts as sale and cash so it will check automatically arithmetical accuracy then you can ascertain the results of the business activities so we are placing the similar type of transactions that we have discussed so in your case the sale will be rupees 2000 and in my case the purchase will be rupees 2000 so we can ascertain the results of the business that it is the amount that we have spent for purchase then accordingly you can ascertain the financial position at the end of a particular period of time so these things are automatically generated when we will follow this double entry system of bookkeeping however there are certain disadvantages also number one requirement of expert knowledge means for recording the transactions under double entry system of bookkeeping we must know the various aspects of this particular system then it is lengthy and cumbersome in this process we first record a particular transaction in journal book then we will record it means we will post it from journal to another set of books that is ledger book then we will prepare trial balance then final account so it is a quite lengthy process and needs the expert knowledge it is expensive we have to record the different transactions we have to have various books of accounts then maybe we have to appoint some accountant etc etc so it involves cost and generally it is termed as unsuitable for small organization as the transactions are very least however in spite of these disadvantages this system uh, provides the efficiency in the whole accounting system and you can readily ascertain the results of your business now let us discuss the classification of accounts when we'll discuss this particular aspect we can follow two approaches number one traditional approach also known as English approach then number two American approach also known as modern approach under traditional approach we generally classify the accounts as personal accounts and impersonal account again under personal account we have different types of accounts accounts of natural person like you and me Mr. Ram Ms. Sita Mr. Jodu etc all natural persons then accounts of artificial persons means the accounts of corporates accounts of some organizations for example the account of my supplier account of reliance company etc these are all artificial persons and for accounting purpose we will record it as a personal account then representative personal account so these things will be discussed later on also again we have another classification impersonal account so under impersonal account we have two types of accounts real account generally indicates the properties of the business and number two nominal account generally indicates the expenses and losses and incomes and gains under american approach we classify the accounts in a different way in the five different 
uh, accounts. So under this approach, we have assets account, the assets of the business, liabilities means the amount due by your business to some other business or to some other person, different liabilities, it may be bank loan, etc. So assets account, liabilities account, then the third one is capital accounts. Capital means the amount invested by you in your business. Then revenue accounts, the income that business earn, expenses accounts. So accordingly, we will classify the transaction in different accounts if we follow the American system in classifying the accounts. So this is all about the double entry system and classification of accounts. In the third part, we will discuss some other aspects of the same unit. Thank you.